gone missing. I know it's real, but I'm telling you, it's close. Hello, hello. I'm Jess from Mirror and Thread. I'm glad you're here today. I have probably our most requested video for you today. It is a fall capsule wardrobe. Everything is from Target. Everything is super affordable and very versatile. So I hope this is going to be really helpful for you guys. Just a couple of quick reminders before we get started. There are two options for monthly gift card giveaways in our video description. One of them is to follow me on Instagram, in Instagram, on Instagram, and like all my photos for the month of September. So you only have one more day to enter that tomorrow, and then I will pick a winner in a couple of days. And then same for our email list giveaway. It's a $50 gift card to the retailer of your choice, and we will choose someone subscribed to our email list. So you can find links for both of those below and as well as all of the clothes that I'm gonna show today and every accessory, everything, all of that will be linked there. And it's also always linked in the Like to Know It app. That's where I put all of my best daily deals and everything there. So make sure that you are following me there too. Okay, let's get started on today. This was a labor of love, my friends, because this is far and away the most time consuming video that we've ever shot. <laughs> So I really put a lot of thought into this and I do hope that it's helpful for you. Okay, so I think how I'm going to do this is just show you each item and then I went through and styled each item at least three different ways. So you can, obviously there will be multiple different pairings that you can do with the items, but I at least styled them all three ways so that you can kind of see the versatility of each item. So starting out with this poncho, I always think a good poncho sweater is a must for fall. This one is so affordable from Target, and these are one size, so they're really, really nice. You don't have to worry about ordering the wrong size. It looks good on all body types. And this one I like because it's short sleeve, so that gives you just a little bit more uh, versatility when it comes to styling it. You can put something underneath it, or you can wear it without anything underneath it when it's a little bit warmer out. So I styled this. First of all, I'm pretty short, so I'm only 5'3", and I was able to actually style this as a sweater dress, and it is not too short on me. So if, especially when I, I wore it with this longer cardigan, that's super, super soft too. This is just a basic olive cardigan, and I had the small on this one. This one's like a duster length, so it came down pretty long. So when I had them on together, it wasn't too short on me. If you are much taller, it probably is going to be a little bit short as a dress but you could still wear it belted and wear it with some slacks or something like that if you wanted more of a dressed up look. But I wore that for the sweater dress with this little, it was supposed to be only 20 items and I kind of cheated, it's actually 21 because I did style it with this leopard belt for this one time in the video. But I like this with a belt on it. I think it just kind of gives it a different shape and a different look and something a little bit more dressed up. So I think that's kind of a fun way to style a poncho. If you've never done that before, you might give that a try. I also just styled it really simply with this, nope, not this hat, <laughs> but I was wearing another hat. With this hat, this is the one accessory. I definitely recommend throwing a hat in, even if you are doing a capsule wardrobe. I think it gives a lot of added just kind of oomph to every single outfit. So I do think that that's worth a purchase. And then I styled that, where are they? with this is the only pair of jeans that i included so this is a very basic pair of jeans and if you're going for true capsule wardrobe where you're not going to have very many pieces at all in your closet but you want maximum versatility i do recommend getting a jean like this it's a dark wash denim it's going to be flattering on everyone it's really stretchy and comfortable true to size i have size four and i would say True to size, but if you're like really, really between sizes, I would maybe size down because it is a pretty stretchy fabric. So I think the more I wear these, the more they will stretch out. But they're skinny jeans, so they will look good with booties, with flats, all kinds of things. And I just think this is very versatile. They're high-waisted as well, which I prefer. I cannot wear, excuse me, low-waisted jeans anymore. I don't know what happened to me, but now I have to have high-waisted and I think these are a great option if you're only going to do, you know, if you only want one or two pairs of jeans to style with everything. An alternative pair, if you are gonna have two pairs of jeans, I would say get a black pair like the ones I have on. I wear these tons, tons, tons too. 
And then lastly, this is kind of hopefully a little bit different too, way to style for you, but I threw this basic striped shirt on underneath and then I just wore it with a pair of black leggings. These are actually from Nordstrom, so I will link these exact ones and then I will link a similar pair from Target at a lower price point if you want a lower price point. But I think these are worth the higher price. As far as leggings go, I'm pretty picky and I think that's something that you'll get tons and tons of wear out of in the fall. So I do think it's worth a little bit more of a splurge on something like that, especially if we're talking about capsule wardrobe. But um, you could wear this with leggings super easily because this one comes down really long and then this top actually you can wear with leggings on its own because it comes down pretty long too. I have a small in the top and it is very, very soft, super cozy. So this is a great one to have in your closet just for layering. As far as shoes go, I forgot to run through those as we were going through the outfits. This I paired with the jeans, I believe, <laughs> and the hat outfit. And I got all of the shoes in this entire video were from Target. They're all very affordable. And I did a classic pair of booties, which is these. I would go with a nude pair if you don't have any booties and you're only wanting to get maybe one pair that you can wear with everything. I definitely recommend a nude pair because I think these just, they're gonna go with everything even more than a brown or a black wood. Um, they're just very, very versatile. These are true to size. I have the six and a half and they're very comfortable. So they're a block heel, so your feet aren't gonna hurt walking in these too. And then I also grabbed these. I'm so excited about these. These look so much like Madewell to me, but they are universal thread from Target. So they're very affordable. They are just like a dark brown. And I did size up to a seven in these. I typically wear a size six and a half and the seven is perfect. So I would definitely size up if you run between sizes. I thought these were really cute with everything. They could work as workwear. They're cute with jeans. They're cute with dresses and skirts. So this is gonna be a really versatile pair of shoes for you. Then I also snagged these casual kind of quilted slip on sneakers. This is a great pair of shoes for fall. I wore these in the, uh, the video with leggings and stuff, but you could totally wear these with jeans too. And they would be totally appropriate. Let me see. I got my normal size six and a half in these and these did run a little bit on the bigger side. So if you're between sizes, I would size down in these. And then you've seen these before. If you've been here a while, I had these in my last Target video, but this is just a basic mule and I wore these for pretty much all of the like workwear outfits that I included. They're just a really good basic mule. I think they're work appropriate and I think they also look really cute with jeans too. And I have size seven in these. So anything that's a slide, I tend to size up a half size. Okay, let's move on and I'll talk about bags as we go. So next up is this really pretty plaid blazer that is so just perfect. This is quintessential fall to me. I think having a blazer in your closet is a wardrobe necessity. And as you'll see as we're going through, I did try to give a little bit of variety and not just do plain black, plain white. <laughs> you know, I wanted a little bit of print, a little bit of pattern and something kind of fun because I don't think capsule wardrobes have to be boring. So anyways, I have a size two in this one and it fits perfectly. It's structured like a work blazer, so you could definitely wear this for work, but it also comes down a little bit longer, so it looks really cute worn casually too. So I threw that on with this little cami, which this is another great basic piece to have. And the kind of the trick to having a successful capsule wardrobe is just having a lot of pieces that are really easy to layer. So you want a couple basic camis, you want some good blazers or some good jackets, and that's gonna give you a ton of versatility. So I have a small in the cami, and then I wore that with those basic jeans and these booties. And then I also wore that with, this is another bonus item. This is actually one of our t-shirts that we designed. So you can find this on our website, which I'll link to. But I also threw it with this for something a little bit more casual. And then a black denim skirt. Same with the leggings. This one's actually old. It's not from Target. I've had this for a couple of years, but I will link a similar one. Um, but I thought this was really cute worn casually too. And just something kind of out of the box so that you can get a little bit more wear out of your blazer than just going to work in it. And I wore that with those um, quilted sneakers, like slip on sneakers. And then also I kind of did a pattern play on this one. And I actually paired it with this little top for 
a workwear outfit. So this is just a basic long sleeve window, kind of a window pane print, which I'm clearly into as I'm wearing. But I think this is a very basic pattern that you could pair with a lot of different things. And personally, I like it with the plaid. I think this is about as crazy as I would go with two different kinds of patterns. I'm not a huge pattern play person, but I think that these work together, especially with something really neutral on bottom. And I do have a size extra small in this shirt. I find that this prologue line tends to run a little bit big. So I size down into the extra small in that. And then talk about these real quick. This is just a basic pair of black slacks, but these are $24. So you're probably not going to get anything more affordable with a pair of basic slacks than $24. For the quality, they're really solid. I'm really happy with these. They do run on the smaller side. I had the size four and they are plenty tight. So I would definitely size up if you're between sizes and maybe anyways, if you like more of a loose fit in your trousers and your slacks, I might size up anyways. All right, let's talk about a couple of different ways that I styled this little work top. Um, it is perfect with the blazer for like a full blown business casual work outfit. I also paired it with this olive green cardigan. I love these two together. And this could go with jeans or I put it with slacks just so you can have a couple different workwear options. This is more, probably the most workwear-like top that I had, so I wanted to give you some versatility there with workwear. And then I also paired this just with a pair of jeans and a hat and these little slides. I think it's really cute on its own too for something casual. And I didn't tell you earlier, but the sleeves are actually really fun on this. So this is not unbuttoned. It's just kind of like a balloon. It's not a balloon. It's just kind of a wide cut sleeve at the bottom. So I think that's a really cute little detail. And then I have not yet shown you the bags that I grabbed. So this one you'll see the most frequently in the video. This is a universal thread. I loved this one because it doubles as a work bag, so your laptop will easily fit in here. And again, with a lot, like this is a, the case of a lot of Universal Threads things. They look a lot like Madewell to me, which is one of my favorite stores, but I don't shop there as much as I would love to just because the price point is pretty high on some of their stuff. So I love being able to get that style, but be more affordable. So I think this is a really pretty bag. It also comes in black. And then I thought we would all love this little leopard bag since I know you guys are as into leopard as I am. Um, this is super cute and just an easy casual bag. It's pretty small. So this is not going to be like a huge satchel bag that will take everything you ever wanted and notebooks and all kinds of stuff for work. If you're looking for that, I would definitely get the other one. But if you just want something casual, like I'm thinking we just went to the state fair recently. So I'm thinking if you needed just something like that, that you could wear as a crossbody that's small, this is perfect for that. Alrighty, let's talk about this plaid top. So this is another just kind of different print that you can throw in, but it's also very neutral and it goes with a lot of things in the fall. So I think this is a good piece if you're going to do a capsule wardrobe. It fits exactly like I would want a plaid shirt. It's actually not really a flannel. I mean, I guess it could be considered a flannel, but it's really just like a thin plaid shirt. It's not super thick and heavy, but I have the small in this one and it covers up my booty, which is ideal for me. And this one I wore with, well, this is going crazy, with these black leggings and I actually wore it with this little striped tee. And then I just tied this around my waist, which is one of my favorite ways to wear plaid. You could also layer these, like this could serve as kind of like a shirt jacket if it is a little bit cooler. And then if it gets warm, you can always tie it around your waist. So that's just an easy casual outfit idea. And I paired that with these little slip on sneakers, which you'll see a lot of in the casual outfits that I had. And I also wore that with this, which I have not talked about this cargo jacket yet, but if I have one recommendation, if you're only gonna get one thing out of the entire capsule wardrobe, make it a cargo jacket. This one is actually from Loft because it's one that I already had, so I didn't wanna order another one from Target. Target does have a similar one. It is not quite as soft and not quite as high quality. I will warn you about that. But if you just want it for the style, it's totally fine. It's just more of a canvas material, and this is more of a like really soft material. But 
I wear this thing so, so much in the fall. I'm telling you probably five times a week I'm throwing this on with something. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this one a whole lot and it's not even technically cool here yet. So um, I think these two are really cute together. I love the navy and the orange with the olive green. This jacket in particular does come in a couple other colors if you're not into olive green. So it comes in a gray and I believe a pink as well too. Oh, not done with this one. <laughs> I forget what all I paired together, honestly. So I also wanted to show this one as a workwear top. So bear with me because I know you don't typically think of workwear when you see a fall top like this. But if you roll the sleeves up a little bit, if you front tuck the top and you wear it with slacks, carry a work bag, and then I wore it with my mules, I think this is actually very, very work appropriate. And if you wanted to even business it up even more, you could throw on a blazer with this and it would be super cute for fall workwear idea, outfit idea, especially if you do business casual. I guess I should have mentioned that in the beginning. All of my workwear things are more business casual, not so much business professional. So this is um, just kind of an in-between, but I wanted to give you maximum versatility on all these things. Okay, and you absolutely knew that I had to include a leopard sweater because I do consider this to be a wardrobe basic <laughs> at this point in time. This is the perfect leopard sweater because it's not super oversized where it looks really casual, which means you can easily dress this one up for work, which I did with this little cardigan again, and the black slacks and mules. Totally appropriate for work like that, carry a work bag. And of course, as with anything, if you have a black pencil skirt or you know a different pair of trousers, wide leg trousers that you want, you can always throw those things in with these too. These are just different ideas to kind of help get you started on how to rewear and reuse some of the items you might already have in your closet or get you some new ones that are really versatile. So it can be worn as workwear, and then also, of course, with this, I love leopard and olive green together. Can you tell? <laughs> um, also with this cargo jacket and the denim skirt and then these fun slides, that's just like a cute kind of date night outfit, just running errands outfit. Um, if you like to get that dress set to run errands, sometimes I do. And then also I love this just paired with, just by itself, just with jeans and a hat and then a pair of booties. And that is like a go-to outfit for me. So this is mindless getting dressed in the morning. You don't have to think about it. You already know all these things are gonna look together and you're good to go. Okay, I think I went through everything. <laughs> all the photos will be linked in the description below so you can see every single outfit and then the multiple different ways to style. So I hope this is helpful for you guys. Like I said, these are just ideas, but obviously there's some more like simple and easy pairings that you could do with any of these. You could just wear this striped top with jeans or you know, this with jeans or you know, the plaid top just with the leggings, whatever. So hopefully that will get you started on being able to pare down your wardrobe, get some things that are versatile and that make a lot of sense for you. Thanks so much for watching.